Hey everybody, I'm Mike with Woodstock Furniture and Mattress Outlet. All right, we're going to talk today about making the right choice for your upholstered furniture. You want durability, you want comfort, you want it to look good, but there's so many choices. You watch this video to the end, I guarantee you, you're going to be better equipped to make the perfect decision for you. All right, choosing the best fabric for you. I've been there as a customer. You pick out the perfect sofa, you pick out the perfect love seat, and then out of all these options, I mean, it's like a deck of cards and so much more. How do we choose what's perfect for us? Let's bring in our expert, Sarah Patterson. Sarah's part of the sales staff here at Woodstock Furniture and Mattress Outlet. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, Hello. so one or two words that we're gonna be dealing with and our uh, folks are dealing with as well, performance fabric. What is that? So performance fabric is basically an upholstery fabric that is more easy to clean and more durable than traditional upholstery fabric. Okay, it's because that's, I want that peace of mind to know if I spend whatever and if accidents happen, it's not ruined, yes. right? That's the bottom line here. Okay, so what are some of the benefits? What are some of the things performance fabrics does for us? It can be more stain repellent. It can be more water liquid repellent, more um, color resistant or fade resistant. Yeah and uh, tear or puncture resistant okay. as well. That's what we want. And do different types do different things as we sort through all this? Yeah, so there's different types that have different properties and it's based on how it's made and how tightly the everything's woven together. Okay, so that's an overview for you. So then let's break them down. Number one, and, and we're gonna go through three by the way, acrylic, olefin, and treated fabric. Just again, give you the, the, really the types that, that you're gonna be dealing with as you make this decision. Number one is acrylic. So what are the positives and the pros of that one? Acrylic is fade resistant, easy to clean, and water repellent. Okay, sounds great. Let's put it to the test. We have an acrylic fabric here. We've got some water. What are we hoping for here? We're hoping that it beads up and rolls off and... Um, that sounds great. That's yeah. the peace of mind you want. Okay, let's see what happens here. Again, acrylic. Wow, look at that. That's doing exactly what you said. It's beading up. Okay, yeah, let's move it around a little bit. Sets on top of the fabric. Really well, okay. So if you're looking at this, um, we know, great for outdoor furniture for sure, right? Yes, absolutely. Great for the sun, great, great for sitting by the pool. Even that chlorine from the bleach will not penetrate through the fabric. Okay, now potential con it may not be as soft, right? Correct, it's more of a rigid, um, rough plastic-like feel. Okay, and you know, with advancements, we, we say that in a general, you may, may find an acrylic that is a little bit softer, that it fits, fits your needs, but again, we've shown you uh, one of the positives here, and that is water repellent. All right, Sarah, another type of performance fabric, olefin, tell us about the pros of that one. Olefin is very resistant to tears, it's resistant to fraying, and it's going to be a little bit softer than that hard acrylic feel, so it's going to feel more like upholstery fabric, but have that protection as okay. well. You mentioned tear puncture resistant. Let's put it to the test. Here is uh, Olefin. You don't believe me? Let's try you ready? It out. I'm ready? Okay, pen ready. Right, so this can happen, right? The very back and say you sit on your sofa with a pen and you can see that hole. Well, with performance fabric, all you got to do is give it a good shake to put the threads back into their natural position and wow. you that that hole is as you can see disappeared. Look at that. So, and let's talk about real world application. Let's say you have dogs, maybe bigger dogs, for example, cats, kids, or I sit, like you said, on my sofa with a pen, that quick. Yep. Okay, that's the peace of mind we're looking for. Any uh, areas where this is not quite uh, as positive, what are some of the cons is what I'm trying to say? Uh, some of the cons, they can be more um, fade, they're more prone to fading. Okay. They can be not as liquid repellent, so that can be a con, but it does have that tear resistant factor. Okay, awesome. All right, our third type of performance fabric, treated fabric. First off, what does that mean? What was done to the fibers? Uh, treated fabric means it was treated in a solution down to the coloring to um, fasten everything on, every fiber to be saturated with okay. that. Got protection. It. So with that said, what does that mean as far as, what's the big positive here with the treated fabric? It's the best at stain repellent. Okay, let's do it. It's time to put All it right. to the test. Got a little cup of coffee here. We have water ready to go and some paper towels, but here's the moment of truth. A little coffee on our fabric. 
Oop, and that's what happens, right? That's life. Doesn't look great, but let's see what happens here. You can see it's already coming up. Dab it. Boy, that's the peace of mind, because that's real yeah. world. Whether you and I are spilling coffee or the kids are spilling their drinks. Oh, wow, okay. And, and that's gonna dry here a little bit, but look at how already you see it, it it's coming up there. Um, with treated fabric, and any things on the other side where you're like, ooh, this may not be for me. What are some of the cons there? They're not as fade resistant and they're not as puncture resistant as the Olefin would be. I, I know this has helped out. When we're trying to choose between all of these fabrics, you have a better idea of what's best for you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.